DMX Record is a new free tool from Pharos for capturing your console for playback on the Pharos Designer range of controllers. DMX Record supports the SACN and ArtNet protocols and supports recording multiple universes simultaneously. Inside the DMX Record app, we can specify which universes to record. You can then choose whether to start your recording immediately and stop it with a stop button or use your console itself to trigger the recording. So within DMX Record, we can specify a universe and a channel and a value for that channel which will start and stop your recording. So once a recording has been made, we're able to view each of the different universes which have been recorded simultaneously and play them back within DMX Record itself to check the channel values as well as confirm that the programming is as we expected it to be. Once your recording is complete, you can hit save and at this stage we're ready to move our recording into Farrow's Designer. This is where you can import your recording files from DMX Record and add them to a timeline just like any other preset. You can apply a recording to different groups so that the fixtures in that group will respond to the recording's DMX data. If you just want to see a particular component of your recording on your fixtures, you can use the power of designer's timeline groups to play back your recording on certain fixtures at a certain time. So on this timeline, I've got some blue movement, and I can trigger that using my TPS-8. You can see a huge amount of moving lights. All of this is now being played back off a Pharos designer controller. Before DMX Record, a show like this in Pharos would be very difficult to program. I can take my recording as we see it now and apply it just to a central group of fixtures and see the same recording data playing back on just a group of fixtures according to a Pharos designer timeline. The flexibility doesn't end there and we can also apply things like colour overrides or changes in gobos and beams without having to get our console programmer back to restart a recording. So on this existing recording, you can apply a colour override and make the same lights, any other colour, without having to modify the recording itself. This is all just an override triggered from a Farage Designer touch station. The same is true of combining multiple recordings together. For example, this timeline is a combination of three different recordings on lasers and pin spots, all combined seamlessly within one timeline without having to change any of the console's programming. It's also possible to use built-in designer presets on a timeline on top of DMX recordings. For example, this timeline is a color override using the gradient preset built into Farrow's Designer. If I start a blue and white pin spot recording, this is straight out of the desk with a recording, I can now apply my color override timeline and see that respond on the fixtures themselves without having to go back to my console programmer or change any of the recording that was set up in DMX Record. We're excited to introduce Pharos DMX Record starting in version 212 of Designer. DMX Record will be available to download free from pharoscontrols.com where you can also find out more information about this feature.